there were some days where we were, we were rolling on the weekends, it's like from 8.30, imagine 8.30, we're once on the light, you have like so many customers standing up forming a queue. The pressure is there, you know, it's like, okay, let's do it. And we, yeah, let's do it, you know. Now that do the point, you know, it becomes, no, I don't know why my, my hands, my brain become like a, like a system, like a factory production house already. <laughs> My name is Benjamin. And I'm Zilio, his wife. Yes, so we are the owners of Rice and Roll. For Rice and Rolls, we sell stone meal handmade chong fan. Okay, so that means our rice are daily grind, milk, uh, sorry, milk, so in a way. So, so after that, we use, we use the rice to make uh, freshly made chong fan rolls to everyone. Yep, I'm the main chef itself. I do the rolls, okay, I do the, the rice. I mean, I do the main bulk of the work. Yeah. Then for I'm Zilla. the I'm the cashier. <laughs> I, I do the front end, so I take care of the dim sum, the money, uh, the sauce. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Um, I think it's a bit of a nostalgia, and we also want to make things like traditional with a twist. And uh, we don't really see many stone mills in Singapore, and also the steaming method or with the metal plate. Uh, we actually saw videos online, and we were like, hey, this is quite cool, quite new, and then we decided to try. So the history is, yes, we were overseas in Dubai, uh, projected for a long period of time, yeah. at, at least five, five years, years to be yeah. there. But COVID strike, so that affected, uh, it affected my, my, our plans and it affected my job. So we were at the crossroad thinking, should we come back or should we not come back? And also thinking ahead, are we, are we able to, to, to have that uh, income to feed mm -hmm put food on the table, fit family and this. Right. After a year over there, we came back. Then, in and out of the box, taking on part-time jobs. But unfortunately, we are we are also gymnastics coaches. During that point of lockdown, there's no classes, everything. So that also almost cut down our income to zero. So we are like, in a way, we are desperate. Thinking like, what should we do? Yeah. What can we do? Fortunately, I would say, I mean, I mean, one thing lead to another. We are in Singapore we're thinking, hey, like what Zila said, we're watching some videos, some chong fun. No, all of us had this kind of like cloth version and stuff. To me, it's like that there should be something, something different from, from this itself. So we say, hey, this this style of stone mill looks good itself. Couple of experimenting, couple of like 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 putting some ingredients here and there, you know, uh, food tasting everything. Then we decided, hey. Let's do it. Lah. We are not uh, no, experience. no experience in the food industry. We only know how to cook at home. But I think it's more of like, we love to eat. I think that, that fuels our, our motivation to move forward, to like, took a step forward and to venture to something like, let's open a Chong Fan shop, you know. And you like to see people eat your food too. Ah uh, yeah, no way. Lah. <laughs> yes. So I would say that stone meal is, is, is a something that's been there for, I mean, thousands of years already. It just that different process technology or you use a cow or hen stone milk. Uh, yeah. No? The ratio between rice and water when you do it in, in a stone milk, stone milk uh, way, it produces a very consistent, uh, I would say, texture, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when we, we roll it out on the plate itself, you know, everything is thin, silky, and smooth. Mm. So no. when you put it in your mouth when you eat it, some, some, some customers tell me it's very melty. Mm. No? Some customers say, hey, it's very. Um, not too filling it's, it's, because this, this food chong fan is a street food itself it's not uh, say it's a full meal in, in a way itself you can enjoy a company with maybe prawn noodles maybe with a plate of um, uh, thai fan or, or, or something like that you know or you want to share with someone else i think it's, it's a good conversation starter food item yeah that's right i think yes we enjoy this process i mean i'm sure everyone has their enjoyment and mm, also and the, the bad days, bad days mm. and disappointments you know For example like sometimes my my mixture of rice and flour doesn't go well i would like let's throw it away it doesn't it, it, if the if the if the chong fan sticks to the to the pan that means something is wrong mm. so, so so there's a certain temperature that that they will enable the the mixture to be at its best, at its best itself so when i pour out i, I put the ingredients i steam and come out it rolls well into it and it creates a thin silky uh, texture, you know, yes. But if the temperature is like normal room temperature, a little bit higher, then my whole whole entire mixture will start to turn a bit gooey. Then it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, so sayang, I have to just throw it away. It's, uh, 
got yeah. to wash the rice, then already, then soak it for seven, maybe ten hours, twelve hours or so. Then meal. Then after I like check the consistency, whether is it good enough to do it. <laughs> mm, uh, most popular the char siu, the prawn, and then after that chives. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's quite surprising, right? Yes. It's a uh, altered top seller because I think the older folks they find it more like nostalgic, and they're actually very like surprised that we have chives. They don't see it anywhere else. Like, like hey, yeah. reference to my 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 mom. I say, hey, why not you put chives inside? Yeah. Okay, that's right. Because I don't eat chives because they they taste very uh, He's raw. Celery <laughs> <laughs> is also not 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 my type. So okay, fine. If customer wants it, we will do it. You know, but usually you want me. At the point in time when we do chive, I let her try it because she eat. I don't eat chive mm -hmm. itself, so it's good. So eventually, it just took on and, and the, the folks here like, hey, you have chives, you know, yeah. egg, all this. I think the older folks like all the classic like prawn, char siu, chives is a new one, mm. and the egg also. Yes. Yeah. Mala is yeah. also another item that that, that we, we we came out with. <laughs> so yeah. we have in met items on the menu itself. We're still we experimenting can... with more. <laughs> I don't know whether like any of them will pass them up, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, we, we, we don't regret setting up this. Yeah. But there was some point of time where the customers are overwhelming. Mm. You know, there was I mean there, there are some weekends where we are being pushed to the limit. Yeah. And customers yeah, are asking, why my chong fan so long? Yeah. Without them, it's handmade. You know, mm. everything takes time. Then the queue is longer. Then it's like at the point of time, sometimes yes. I would like to just give up. I'm not going to do any close shop and just. Not gonna serve time, time. Yeah. but then we have to deliver it you know, out because we open the shower, right? Yeah. I think it's it's the mean customers that really got to us in the beginning, and then we, we we're still learning how to deal with it, but it's definitely yeah. much better now. But yeah, yeah. some customers are really quite tough. Yes. I think there was one uh, incident yes. where there's a lady in front, there's a young couple behind. I was I uh, was uh, completing another order. This young couple comes in front. Tell me to take the order first. I told them, wait, I have orders complete. After that, they left. The following evening, they gave me a one star review. What can I do? Nothing. <laughs> uh, we have regular customers, uh, and that's very encouraging. And also, new people that come in and give their feedback, even though it's uh, not, say, always good, but if it's constructive, we really, really appreciate it as well. Yeah, so those really keep us going. The fact that people are having that exchange with us. I think I mean I think for me it's like that, that point of life that I've been working for someone all the time. Yeah. I mean I think fun. this is one a good area that we work for ourselves. Mm. You know? And we can see the, the results and, and we are in control of what, what we can do or what we can change or what we can improve along the way. So this coffee shop, all the everyone's here, everyone is friendly, they give some tips, say, hey you should do this, maybe you should improve on that. I mean that's why we absorb, absorb, absorb everything yeah, and see learning. what works, yeah. what doesn't work. You know? Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's quite en encouraging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As partners, I would say she's a damn good partner, owner and nagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you will need someone that, 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 that as a partner to nag at you to do so, to complete certain things. And I think we, we complement each other well. Yeah. I see the small stuff and he sees the big picture. So yeah, we, we manage to cover all bases that way. So I mean, in a typical scenario, you will see there's a lot of customers, you will see that sometimes we do argue mm, on yeah. the spot. But after that, at the end of the day, I am just only yeah, that we part. We just resolve it, yeah. done. Over is done. Unless it's a long quarrel, then it's another matter, like personal matter. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, it's the customers who, who, who likes it, they're coming back, they do recommendations, are very, very appreciative of their support yes. and their recommendations and, 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 and word of mouth. I would say word of mouth is very good uh, marketing you know, way to, 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 to spread it out. And I mean, with that, they come rolling in, we're still rolling, rolling out the chong pan with them. <laughs>